welcome back to my channel if you've already been here and if you're new my name's Sophie and I'm very pleased to have you. So I thought I'd do a little fun video this week and we basically went shot into town on Saturday I think it was yeah and I was like there's so many books that I want to pick but I thought it'd be fun if I get my boyfriend Eduardo to pick them. So yeah this is what this video is so it's my boyfriend picks my little book haul. I'm not sure how quickly I'll get around to reading them but I thought it'd be funny to see kind of what his thought process is and what kind of books that he chose for me. So I did take a couple of clips and I've written the bookstore. Not too many because obviously he, it's not his YouTube channel. He doesn't really want to be on camera 24-7 but yes I want to be respectful in public as well around other people but we've got a little bit. And I basically gave him the power. We were in like the fantasy section and I was like two books from here. And then the kind of the, the front sections where they kind of advertise the popular one. So you've got like romance bit of fantasy as well. I got him to go to that section and pick two more as well. And I also ended up, so yeah, enjoy these clips of us shopping. It was actually his first time, I think, in a bookstore. So that was really intriguing <laughs> to see how he reacted to the prices of things, as well as kind of the amount of books that they have in Waterstones near me. So yes, please enjoy. And I'll see you guys afterwards. I don't, I don't like this this section though. That's the one I've got. Yeah, I know. Oh, this, this is gonna be... Oh, this is gonna be a Do you like this kind of thing? What are you basing your pick off? I don't know what I like. <laughs> You're not reading it though? What I fancy. I'm judging, right now I'm judging the book by its cover, you know? Yeah. No, you can't do it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed those little clips of us shopping. Uh, he's so cute, bless him. He, he tried his best. Kind of if you'd pick up a book that I was like, oh, no, because I didn't want him to buy something that I was going to hate because it's almost like a waste of money. So I did give him little hints and I shifted him into the right directions, but he did choose the books, which was very good on his behalf. Okay, so we only actually picked one romance book, which is Hate Mail by Donna Marchetti. So I actually hadn't even heard anyone speak of this as of until I saw this, I'm not sure. Oh, it is a new release. It was out in, got came out on March 14th of this year, 2024. So this is very good that I've kind of got my hands on it. The reviews online are also already quite good. So I'm quite excited to delve into it. So the kind of feel the story is it follows two, our two characters, Naomi and Lucas and by the sound of things and what I've seen in like the synopsis they basically are become random pen pals I'm not sure if they were friends before and moved away but we will find out but they've basically been pen pals since like fifth grade and there's a little twist to it because it's not like friendly they almost like are mean to each other through this mail and and then one day um the letters suddenly stop so i am excited to understand what happens and kind of where the story goes because i'm assuming that it's uh enemies to lovers friends to lovers but we shall see and i'm very excited to get into this one okay so the next book very hefty one is the priory of the orange tree by samantha shannon so a funny story Eduardo actually picked up the second book which is A Day of Fallen Night and I've never heard of it before so I was just kind of like yeah let's get it the cover's cute like fantasy looks like it has dragons in it we know I love that so we that went to the um cash the register to buy them and she's like oh have you, did you like the first book and I was like no I haven't read it so she went and grabbed it so I ended up getting both RIP my bank account um, so yeah, so I'm going to talk about this one because I don't really want to know too much about the second but just in case it gives something about the first book away and I'd rather leave that until I read it 
so yes the priory of the orange tree i've seen a couple of people on youtube talk about this but i haven't heard too much about it i feel like it's so big people are probably scared to read it but basically the story goes that so it's set in like an ancient land and it's almost like split um between rivals and we're just basically going to be following these characters um as they navigate like political issues mythical creatures and then it says online that it's a battle of power that could shape them forever so I feel like this is going to be very intense, like a lot of fighting, which I'm kind of getting used to because I kind of find it hard to read like action scenes because a lot is going on and I need to take my time. Which is what I'm doing now, rather than speeding through books, I'm like soaking in the words and like enjoying the story a bit more. So yes, yeah, so that is the next two, the Priory of the Orange Tree and the Day of Fallen Night. Okay, and the fourth book that we picked up was The Atlas Six by Olive Blake. Now this has been on my TBR for a little while now, so I was so excited when I saw it and Eduardo picked it up. I was like, yes, please. <laughs> so he treated me and we chose this one. So this is a story where basically once every decade the world's like best magicians are invited into a society for a chance to compete for a place from what I understand and once you're in the society you in, um, enjoy like riches, power, everything that you could probably want out of life but the catch is that only five places are offered so it's almost giving like Hunger Games-esque I'm sure there's going to be trials and things like that where they have to get through in order to get that place in society so yeah, I'm really, I feel like this is right up my street because I loved um, Powerless by Lauren Roberts. And it's kind of giving the same vibe where they're trying to get their place within that like higher realm, higher kingdom. So yes, the Atlas Six, I'm very much looking forward to it. Okay, and the final book. So Eduardo didn't actually pick this one. He kind of gave up. He was really overwhelmed at how many books there were. So I saw this and I've been wanting this for a while now. It is Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies and I've seen a lot of people talking about this and raving about it. So I'm so psyched to have it on my bookshelf and I can't wait to get to it whenever I do. So basically the story obviously follows our character called Emily Wilde and she is researching fairies and lore for a new encyclopedia. So I don't wanna to know too much about this because I do like with fantasy when there's that element of surprise. So from what I'm guessing, she's going to be like, cause I'm pretty sure this is not a high stakes fantasy. It's more of like a enjoyable read, like all about the beautiful creatures and like the landscapes. So yes, I'm kind of expecting it to be a nice little journey, discovering new creatures, like befriending people, meeting fairies along the way, hopefully, but yes, I'm so psyched to have this book now and it's such a beautiful cover. I wasn't sure whether to try and find the hardcover, but I do really love the paperback. And I know that the second book is out now, I believe. So yes, I'll be probably picking that up if I enjoy this. Okay, so that is all the books that I picked up with Eduardo over the weekend. And very thanks to him for being in my video. It was very nice of him and I hope you've enjoyed this. And let me know if you've read any of these because I'm super excited for all of them, to be honest. It was a really good shopping trip. So yes, it was lovely to have you here. If you haven't already, give my channel a subscribe and give this video a like. It means so much to me. And I just love having people come back and watch because it's like a little group of friends that we just get to talk about things that we love. So yes, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.